morning, good morning. It's Jess here. <laughs> Bless Jess. I've got Layla. She's not too excited about leaving Grammy's house. Um, everybody's kind of sad. They cried and cried when we left. So that's a super bummer. But it is Thursday, July 6th. We are headed home. It is 9 o'clock on the dot. But our air and our tire was a little low, so we had to stop and get some air. And then we're going to head out. So um, I am going to show you everything I eat today. Today is probably still going to be a little bit high. I'm going to try to keep it as low as I can. But um, this is kind of our last day before I get super strict on myself. Our last day of vacation. So um, for breakfast, I had a cup of coffee for two points because I had some half and half. And then I had three Sister Schubert's little like um, biscuit sausage. Have you, had, have you guys had those like yeast roll biscuits with little sausage in them? They're really little, but each one is four points. So I have three, so that's 12. Plus coffee, so that's 14. So that's kind of high. But I have to eat like a pretty heavy breakfast before we travel because I will feel like I'm gonna throw up. All right. So we are getting ready to leave. I will take you along with us. Who is all sad to leave Grammy and Grandpa's? Mm. Nate is the saddest of all. I wish we had our own pool. I know. Well, I don't. With a diving board. I wish we had our own pool with like a fort around it so I knew that the kids wouldn't get in there because Nate, Nate is an escape artist and he would try to get Just in there. Jessica's ideal time. pool would be a foot deep and that's it. No, that's not true. I like, I don't know, okay with being deep. It's just he tries to escape and I, that would freak me out. Escape he, to the pool, you mean? Escape to the pool. Oh, okay. So, anyway, though, we had fun. It was so nice to have our, like, own space in the pool and not have to share with everybody. Because we have great. a pool in our apartment, but there's always, like, a lot of people in it. So, anyway, we're going to head home. And I know we're going to have to stop for lunch. Layla's not happy about leaving here. I know we're going to have to stop for lunch, um, you know, before we get home. So, that'll be a drive through probably. But here we go. We'll see you guys in a little while. Hey, guys. So, we made it home. It is, like four o'clock Georgia time, actually maybe a little bit after. Um, it took us a good while. We had to stop three times, two to go to the bathroom, one to eat lunch. And then we also ran into traffic and a ton of rain, but we made it home safe and sound. David left to go to the church and get ready for practice. I am trying to get some stuff picked up and you know how it is coming home from a trip. And I was really hoping to have the house clean before we left, but that didn't happen. And so everything is a mess, plus all the stuff. Um, oh, so we'll get it. We'll get it. But it's just overwhelming. Um, we stopped at Subway for lunch. So um, it was like a gas station that had a Subway and a McDonald's. So we got McDonald's for the kids. I stood in line and got McDonald's for the kids. And David stood in line and got our Subway. So I told him to get me a foot long. And the plan was <laughs> to eat half of it for lunch and then save the half of it for dinner. Beep, beep. Beep, beep. Um, I don't know. I don't know what that was about, but um, so I thought, well, I'm going to try to just eat half and then I'll have half at dinner because I knew we didn't have a lot of stuff here at the house. So, um, but after just one half, I was still kind of hungry, so I just went ahead of the whole thing. So, I tracked it. It turned out to be 16 points for a foot long. Um, it's just a turkey sub, no dressing or anything. So, um, And some veggies. It was really good. And I liked, because I was kind of worried where we were going to stop because the kids don't like Subway. And I did not want to eat french fries and hamburgers and stuff again. So, um, it was really good. I drank water with that. And I have no idea what we're going to have for dinner because, like I said, we don't have a lot of options. I purposely did not have a lot of groceries in the house before we left. We do have some stuff in the freezer, um, so I'm not sure what I'm going to do. I'm hoping I can make a grocery list and go to the store when David gets home, if he gets home early enough, um, because we need groceries. So, we will see. The only bad thing about that is Aldi will be closed by that time, but... I think I think they close at like eight. I doubt he's gonna be home that early, so I might check. They might be open until nine. And I could run in there. I don't know. I don't know. But we need groceries, um, so stay tuned for dinner. I have six smart points left for the day, so I might still go a tad bit over. But overall, I'm doing much better today. And then starting tomorrow, 
strict on myself with staying in the 36 smart points. So anyway, we made it home safe and I'll see you guys back in a little while for dinner. It's like a weird thing to just have a little snack, <laughs> but I made the kids some dinner. You have to eat your dinner first. I made the kids some dinner and so I had about a cup of corn. I just measured out a cup um, that was left over. And I'm just gonna eat this. It's three smart points. So it's gonna leave me with three for the day. I still might go over, but for now this just sounds good. I might add, you have to eat your chicken. Um, sorry for the background noise again, you guys. <laughs> I'm gonna add some spray butter for zero and just a tiny bit of salt and this is my little snack. <laughs> See y'all later. Um, I forgot how low we are on groceries. We have no milk, <laughs> we have no any kind of fruit, hardly any vegetables besides like frozen. Um, so I am pretty sure I'm gonna have to go to the store tonight after the kids go to bed, which is not my favorite thing to do because I'm tired. But the other choice would be to go with them tomorrow, and that's even worse, <laughs> so, especially since I've got to get so much stuff. Like, look at this list, and I probably will think of some more things we need. Um, that's quite a lot of things. Um, and here's my plan for the week. I'll go over this on my uh, video, on my uh, grocery haul video, but I made a bunch of meal plans because we are getting, I am getting back on track. I am not happy about all of the crap I've eaten. It's been totally worth it though. That's the thing. It has been totally worth it. I've had a great time um, the last two weeks. So the first week our friends were here from Texas. We had a great time with them and then we went to David Mom and Dad's house. We had a great time there. Just lots of celebrating, lots of eating out, all the yummy things. Um, I still think, though, I did better than I would have done if I before I started a weight loss journey. You know, I was more mindful, even though I was way over on points, and I definitely wasn't doing, like, a healthy food thing. I still did, I feel like I didn't eat to the point of making myself sick. So that is good. Um, but I'm looking forward to getting back on track, for sure. Lucy, please don't do that in here. That's too loud when Mommy's talking. Um... Because I hardly have anything in the house, dinner is going to be super simple. Like I said, I have hardly any <laughs> groceries. Um, so I'm making some turkey dogs. I'm going to have them with a little bit of these healthy life buns left. So I'm going to have two of these, which is five points. Just a second. Five points. I like one. One. Um, so two of those is five points. And then the two hot dogs are two points. So that's seven points for dinner. Plus the corn that I ate for three, so it's really ten points for dinner. That is putting me four over for the day, which I feel like, all things considered, is not one. too bad. One, please. I one. Okay. Um, all things considered, it's not that bad, considering yesterday I was like 80 points. So, um, I will take 40. I'm at 40 points for the day. Here is the plan. I want to be on track starting tomorrow. I have every dinner planned. I have lunches planned. I have breakfast planned. I'm going to go buy all the stuff, hopefully tonight, and there will be no excuse for me to go over. So you guys hold me to it. I mean, I'm okay um, going against my weeklies, but the weeklies are gone now, <laughs> and I need to do as good as I can to stay as close as possible to my daily points. I also want to get back to the gym. Um, of course, that depends on when David is home to watch the kids, but I should be able to go at least three times a week. There should be no excuses there. Um, and then drinking my water, drinking my detox tea. I haven't done the tea in like a week and a half um, just because it's been so crazy. And I feel like drinking detox tea when you're eating a bunch of fast food is really not productive. <laughs> so I kind of wanted to like save it for when I got back home. So all of that starts back tomorrow, so make sure you tune in, <laughs> tune in, same time, same channel. I'll be, you know, videoing everything. Um, we're back in the swing of things. I got laundry going. I got unpacking done. Um, we're just trying to get stuff, you know, get home, get back in the swing of things. The time zone being off is going to kind of throw the kids for bedtime, but I am exhausted, so they're going to bed at 8, which is really 7 in Alabama time, so we're just going to cross our fingers and hope it works out. Um, hopefully David will be home soon from practice, and yeah, that's, that's going to be it for today. A busy day of traveling, you know, it's never that fun, but and we were super sad to leave. David's mom's watching. We love you, Grammy. We miss you. Nate cried like 
for 10 minutes after we left Grammy's house saying, I want Grammy's house. We had so much fun. It was so fun. So I'm really hoping we can come back. But she is awesome. Grammy and Grandpa are the best, best help. And they give me a little break, David a little break, and they're awesome. So thumbs up for Grammy and Grandpa, you guys. Uh, make sure you leave a comment down below. Please subscribe if you're new. Hit that bell down below. That's going to let you know when I post a new video. And I will see you guys all tomorrow. Bye, guys.